Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Scythe Grand Flex 120 2000 and 1200 RPM fans. These fans look a little bit different and therefore I thought a review would be interesting. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Scythe for providing me these products. Scythe offers four different versions of their Grand Flex fans. The 800 RPM very silent version, then there's 1200 RPM, 1600 RPM and the best performing one of these four versions, the 2000 RPM model, which will also be the loudest. I have two different versions of this 120mm fan, the 1200 and 2000 RPM models. Unfortunately, Scythe couldn't provide me with two of one kind, which makes testing a little bit harder for me. Once again, these are 120mm fans. The fluid dynamic bearing is used, to which we'll get a little bit later. On the packaging itself are some basic specifications like RPM, noise level and airflow. Now let's open the packaging up. I'll start with the 1200 RPM model. And the packaging obviously is the fan. A Molex to 3 pin fan adapter, so that you could also easily run the fan off your power supply instead of the motherboard or a fan controller. Four standard fan screws, four isolation rubbers to prevent the passing on of possible vibrations to the case, and now the fan itself. The different version of the fans actually look the same. Just the sticker at the back has a different color, so I'll go ahead and open the packaging of the 2000 RPM model now. Then we will take a close look at the fan. Once again, a Molex to 3 pin fan adapter, 4 fan screws, isolation rubbers and the fan itself of course. Right away you might notice these fans look a little bit different compared to traditional ones. Let's talk about the bearing. This is a newly developed bearing. A sealed system in which the rotor shaft smoothly runs on an oil film. So compared to conventional bearings, the sealed precision fluid dynamic bearing, short FDB, should work more quietly and also not wear out the bearing so fast. Lubricant oil is used that can take temperatures of up to 250 degrees Celsius. The fan blade design is also completely different than on most fans on the market. This fan blade design should apparently reduce turbulence. The fan also doesn't spin from the right to the left, but from the left to the right instead. The build quality of the bearing is very good, I have to say that. Nothing is moving around and the fan makes a good impression overall. It also pretty much has no flex to it, but why the name Grand Flex, got it? Never mind, the cable is sleeved by the way and the fans come with a 3 pin fan connector. But now let's take a look at the specifications. We'll start with the 2000 RPM model. The Scythe Grand Flex 120 is a 120mm fan and has the following dimensions. 120 by 120 by 25mm. That are 4.72 by 4.72 by 0.98 inches. The fan spins at max 2000 RPM. The airflow according to Scythe is 76.6 CFM or 130.1 cubic meters per hour. At max, it should have a noise level of 34.5 decibels. The fan operates at a voltage of 12 volts and its current is at 0.35 amps, which result in a power input of 4.2 watts. A 3-pin fan connector is used and a fluid dynamic bearing is used, short FDB. The fan should last 120,000 hours at 25 degrees Celsius. The 1200 RPM model obviously has a fan speed of 1200 RPM, an airflow of 45.8 CFM or 77.8 cubic meters per hour. The noise level is at 23.5 decibels. The current at 0.15 amps which result in a power input of 1.8 watts. Everything else remains the same from version to version. Unfortunately, I don't have a decibel meter and therefore will not be able to measure the noise level. And that's why I'll just show you how loud these fans are in front of the camera.
But now, let's see how well these two fans perform. Alright, as you saw yourself, the performance difference between the 2000 RPM and 1200 RPM version is big. Performance wise, the winner is still the Corsair SP120 Performance Edition High Static Pressure Fan. I know, I should have more fans to compare, but except these Corsair fans, I have none lying around that are not super cheap. The Scythe Grand Flex 120 2000 RPM model can pretty much keep up with the Corsair SP120, but overall it performs a little worse. When it comes to the noise levels though, these Grand Flex fans are very quiet compared to the Corsair SP120s, especially the 1200 RPM model. I personally didn't really notice it in this system, but if you want a quiet fan, you always have to sacrifice cooling performance. The build quality of these Scythe Grand Flex fans is outstanding. No parts are moving around whatsoever. That's what I call excellent quality. Not even Corsair's fans are built that well. So long story short, the Scythe Grand Flex 120 2000 RPM fan performs a little bit worse than the Corsair SP120, but runs a lot quieter and the build quality is a lot better. The price of these Scythe fans at the time of this video is a little bit lower than Corsair's, but really not by much. In the end, these Scythe Grand Flex 120 fans are pretty good and you might even consider having one or more of these in your system. Pros are good performance, they are very quiet, especially the 1200 RPM version, and last but not least, excellent build quality. I have nothing to say for the cons, but still, I can't give these fans a 10 out of 10, because the performance is not good enough for 10 out of 10. But these Scythe Grand Flex 120 fans definitely deserve an 8 out of 10, and I would definitely recommend these fans. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.